Hey guys, thought I just let you know that Android 4.0.3 has gone official uh, from, you know, the Android developers uh, page. You can see Android 4.0.3 platform and they have like released this new kind of uh, uh, platform that you can go ahead and download. Um, and, uh, you know, it's well in Android SDK um, if you are an Android developer. Now, the most interesting thing about this update seems to be this thing and it's being called Social Stream API in Context Provider. So I'm just gonna read this little uh, part here for you. Uh, so basically, applications that use Social Stream data, such as status updates and check-ins, uh, like Twitter and Facebook, can now sync the data with each of the user's contacts, providing items in a stream along with photos for each. This new API lets app show, lets app show users when uh, the people when the people they know are doing or saying, in addition to their photos and contact information. So basically what this means is that, you know, apps like Twitter and Facebook will, if you want them to, you know, like uh, update your, you know, your, your friends, uh, what you're doing like right now in, you know, like a live stream or something like that. Um, yeah, it's, it sounds uh, kind of interesting, I think, something, I don't know. But that seems to be the most interesting thing here that, you know, this uh, new API uh, social stream API will let uh, apps like Twitter and Facebook uh, that use social stream data use this uh, You know your friends your contacts in your phone, you know update them all But what's going on all over the place? Yeah, that seems to be the biggest update with 4.0.3 uh, But we also have some small things over here like some improvements in the calendar that now apps will be able to Let's say they want to have a specific color uh, on, you know, an event, and uh, you know that app could do that. Um, so you can easily, you know, find that and track down that. Some small new camera stuff. Uh, also here, what I seems to be like is that uh, now, uh, now apps could go ahead and adjust the video stabilization, and also use the QVGA resolution sometimes. Yeah. Um, then also some you know extremely small things here like error reporting for Texas speech engines, um, you know new things, and then maybe a little improved graphics, you know bug fixes and stuff like that. But you know as you can hear, 4.0.3, it's not that a big update, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see at least what you know maybe Facebook and Twitter is gonna do. Uh, you know, with this new social stream API, uh, I think that they're gonna try to use it. Yeah, use your contacts and try to update them all. What's going on all the time, 24/7? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how quick this update is gonna be rolling out uh, on the Nexus phones. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. If I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I'm not sure. Uh, because you know as you do know with you know the Google Nexus phones you you know they, they've always been famous to get you know the latest version of Android all the time I'm not even sure now how this is gonna work out because it seems like Samsung is doing some of the updates and then Google is releasing some of the updates because the phones are different models and they work in different ways I don't know but uh, yeah and then we also have you know Verizon the carrier over there I have no idea, but uh, yeah, I'm running at least on Android version 4.0.1 right now. May update that, uh, but uh, we'll see about that in the future. So, sweet. See.